Hello and welcome to Critical Strike, episode 103. I'm Kyle, and with me is Bill. Hi. Josh decided that he'd much rather hang out and do trick-or-treating Halloween stuff instead of podcasting. Which is such a fucking lie. <laughs> you know damn well he's not participating in anything. Yeah, he's probably got his, his new PC, like, doing some sort of crazy massage on it. <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah, man. Josh will not be joining us this episode, so it's just me and Bill. I think he's gonna be mad because you just spoiled it that he got a new PC. Oh, he's been—he's bullshit. He's been talking that thing up on Twitter for like three weeks. Yeah, I guess that's true. He did say it had 32 gig of RAM, which seemed excessive. Holy shit! My yeah. work PC, which is a beast, has 32 gigs of RAM. Your work PC does? Well, I do a lot of processing. I do a lot of process heavy oh, and data crunching. Yeah, data yeah. crunching stuff. So. Wow, what kind of PC do you have? Like a HP workstation, or did you build it? Uh, my boss built it. Interesting. So it's 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 called the Behemoth. That's kind of awesome. I think I'm finally getting a new one at work. Mine's <laughs> shitty and a half years old. <laughs> Nine. You just got Windows XP. No, it still runs Windows XP. Not very well though at this point. Wow, really? Yeah, that sucks. Well, all it needs to do is the modeling software, which it can do just fine, but it's just old. It's time for new one. Like, the hard drive, to put things in perspective, is 30 gig. <laughs> oh, wow, so your Windows install takes up 30% mm. of your hard drive. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I have server storage for most of my things, yeah. but just all of the years of random stuff and programs and, like, email files and things... I constantly manage my two and a half remaining gig. Jesus. Yeah. That sucks. Oh well. Yeah, I just slapped a new three terabytes into my work PC. Jesus. Isn't everything server based on yours? Um, no, it's local because it increases the speed. So there's uh, yeah. 40 <clears throat> terabytes in my machine, all hooked How? up through RAID arrays. Oh, yeah, I see. So you just have separate cubes of storage about? Yep. Huh. So my office is literally just blinking lights from all the storage. And it's 79 degrees Celsius? Yeah, it's a furnace. Yeah. It, it pisses... It, the office next to me, which is empty, has the thermostat. So my room is a furnace, while that room's a nice, cool 65 degrees. Wow. Well, I think the takeaway here is that, Josh, your computer's a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, man. Kyle, I haven't talked to you in a while. I know. Do you have any interesting stories to share with us? Uh, there was a hurricane. That was new. That was Yeah, unusual. that's going gonna, that's gonna to go ahead and take the top spot. So how was that? Uh, honestly, we completely lucked out where we were. Really? When the, the storm hit at the right time where one of those uh, feeder bands, we were in between two of them, so we didn't get demolished. But the areas south of us and the areas north of us got wrecked. Feeder bands? I don't, that's what they kept saying on the news when I sat home and watched it for two days straight. Interesting. So it's just some sort of front that split the terribleness of the storm? Well, the right way it were. works is it's a spiral, so there's just, like, shit in a, like, a spiral band, and then there's nothing, and then there's another... Like, I see. Tendril. So as it moved and turned, it basically kept you in that? Yeah. That's fucking cool. That was... It, it was nice. Uh, <laughs> Nancy's uh, summer home was spared. Her family's summer home was spared, so they were very happy about that, because it's on the Jersey Shore. 
which got fucking housed. Yeah. My roommate's hometown got destroyed. So, he was a little upset about that, but his parents are fine. You know, because I'm a bad American, I have I don't watch like television news, so I've seen next to nothing. I just kind of hear about all the terribleness on Twitter. Yeah. I mean, have you like even heard about any of the stuff that's going on in New York? Just some of the flooding and the subways and whatnot yeah. and electrical issues because things are now saturated with salt, which doesn't do the best for connectivity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty fucking terrible, that's for sure. Yeah, so uh, it rained a lot and it got really windy, but we did not get near as much as everybody else did, which I'm incredibly thankful for. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like, my office was without power and underwater for a little bit. I mean, we're on the ninth oh. floor, but the bottom, the uh, the lobby, when we came in on Wednesday, had uh, still, like, puddles in it from the flooding. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And aren't most of the utilities in the basement, so it was probably not the best situation. Yeah. Man. So basically, how long did you lose power? Did you lose uh, power at luckily, all? Luckily, I didn't, I didn't lose power at all. Uh, wow. Other people in the complex that I live in did, because we're on different Transformers. Mm-hmm. But uh, you could see just the Transformers blowing up, like, around us. Wow. So it was, it was pretty nifty. So really, you just sat there for two days and played video games and drank? Uh, I sat here alone for two days and watched the news on the couch. Where was Nancy? Uh, she was at her parents' house. Uh... I I had abandoned her. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. Eh, that's the way it goes. It was only a Category 1. If it would have been a 5, I would imagine you would have found well, a way to be that's near the, her. That's like the crazy thing. It's, it was a Category 1, but it's got the blah, blah, blah of a Category 3 and blah, 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 blah of a Category 4. So mm. it was... I don't know any of the weather hurricane terms, so I had to make it up as i went do you guys have tornadoes there N- not usually mm. i think like in absolutely freak storms you can see a funnel cloud every once in a while but hmm. no not really you get tornadoes right yeah like this year not because of the drought but even here not as much as where i'm from a couple hours north but like here the sirens probably go off six or eight times a year but up north where I'm from, because like here, the way the land lays with the water and there's a couple lakes, like the storms usually go around the city. But up north where I'm from, yeah, I mean, they get some pretty severe weather. Jesus. Yeah. Like a town south of here a few years back was just leveled. One of those like category fives where it just, there was nothing left. Was that Joplin? No, nah, it was, uh, I don't remember the name of the town. You'd have to ask me that. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. Well, there's so many little towns. I mean, I'm sure it's no different there's than There's so you. many podunk towns that nobody cares about, so... Well, that's exactly <laughs> it. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I know the name of their high school because the guy across the hall from me, his wife worked there for like four years, but I don't remember the name of the town. Oh, well. I'm sure they're they're all fine now. Everything's fine. Bah. Well, I'm glad you're alive. So am I. I'm what a about- big fan of being alive. Have you talked to Josh, how bad he actually got hit? Uh, no, I think he lost power. He loses power when his cat sneezes. Well, that's just because it's New England and yeah. the wiring up there is not fantastic. Yeah, it's kind of like Afghanistan with Yetis. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun picking on Josh when he can't defend himself with this. I know, gets. it's fun. This is uh, fun. You should do it more often. Just talk about games. <laughs> okay, of course, he, since he's editing it, he's probably going to edit all this out. Oh, that's a fine point. Fuck you, Josh. <laughs> Fuck you and your backwards walking cats. Right in the face. Uh... Mm. Oh, so let's see. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? It seems like you always, Josh always forces you to go first, so you then, want me to get him out of the way? No, nah, I, could, I could go first. So uh, I continued playing Borderlands 2. These are too. far more interesting anyway. Yeah. I beat it. Wow. it uh, co-op or by yourself? I beat it. It, it was on Mixtures. and off of co-op. Yeah. But uh, that was a 
that game took an interesting turn that I didn't really see it taking, but I called it at the same time. Really? Yeah. It, it, like a story turn, you mean? Yeah, story turn. But uh, I don't care in the slightest if people want to just skip ahead a minute. Yeah. Um. Basically, you played the first one, right? And the second one, sort of. Uh, just the first one. Where you yeah. The so vagina Angel and... is an actual human being, <clears throat> not an AI program, and it's a siren. Interesting. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I, I totally called that, but the things that followed, I did not call. And it got a little gruesome, honestly. So what was her motivation for getting you to unlock the vault? Was there an actual reasoning now, since they kind there of screwed us? There was an actual reasoning. Hmm. Basically, cool. her daddy told her to. Oh, that's lame. Yeah. Do they but, make up for the... Because the first game, everything was built around getting into this damn vault, and I was expecting, like, super cool weapons and all kinds of madness, and it was a huge letdown. Did uh, they make up for that in this one a little bit? There was another massive... Well, the whole point of the second game is you have to kill this thing called the Warrior. <coughs> okay. I think it's the Warrior. Yeah, I think it's the Warrior. So sure. you have to kill that thing. So it's another big-ass monster that you have to kill. Okay. But it does pretty much vomit loot for about two minutes. So oh. it makes up for it. Yeah, that's totally fine then. Oh, uh, no, you liked it, though? They made enough improvements that you stuck with it and went through it fairly quickly. Yeah, I, I went through it once, and then I went through it again on the, the super hard difficulty, the advanced Vault wow. Hunter mode. Wow. That was pretty much exclusively co-op. And yeah. that game is a million times better with other people. Yeah, I mean, they said even in their interviews, like, you can play this by yourself, but you should get some friends. Yeah, definitely, definitely better with people. Yeah, which is sad, because I know that I'm going to buy it cheap on the PC at some point in the winter, and I'll end up playing by myself. <laughs> well, hopefully I'll have a new computer by then, so maybe I can play with you too. Nancy turns, gives dirty look. Nope. It's actually very eerie that you're calling all of this. <laughs> Josh's supercomputer has allowed me to hack into your laptop's webcam. I like your blue shirt, by the way. It's a white shirt. Damn it. Now you can't go three for three. <laughs> so, super hard mode, do the weapons actually pay off, like, or they get more sparse as you play in the harder setting? Because that was no, kind of what it's, I assumed. No, it is the same. There's a gun pretty much every other dead body. Interesting. And it's, I mean, like the normal mode, you pick up a gun, you like it a lot, you use it for a while, you kill something else, pick up a better gun, r w uh, you know, rinse and repeat. Yeah, I think when I played the first one, in the beginning I was checking them all quite a bit, and then inevitably I just, about every four or five levels, then I'd start looking again and mm -hmm. make some shifts and then wait another hour. Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing here. Yep, so it's oh, lots, a lot of more green arrows on this one. Picking it up, using it, murder things. Yeah. It was well, fun. I uh, will probably keep playing it, so... Really? Yeah. It'll, I, Just to max out your character? Yeah, I, he's level 50 anyway, so he hit the cap. But it's, it's just fun to go on there and dick around with a bunch of people. Yeah, cause havoc and see what the AI does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I won't argue with you there, even though I'll not get to experience that part of it. <laughs> I think Josh has it on the PC, so maybe if you bribe him enough, you can play with him. Oh, yeah, because we play games with Josh online so much. Well, that's why I said you have to bribe him. Yeah, I will bribe him. <laughs> I'll come up with something. Get a new kitty. Yeah, Josh, I found these this line of cat toys that are designed for cats that walk backwards. <laughs> They hook up into your PC and you can control it remotely. <laughs> oh, man. You can even get them based on your favorite NHL teams. Well, now he just sold. Ooh, yeah. we, we should develop a line of hockey jerseys for cats. <laughs> but sell all of them except Bruin jerseys. Oh, that'd be funny. Yeah. Oh, well... I'm more interested in Dishonored, because I don't think you had played that the last time I've spoke with you, which is no, been a little while. I, uh, yeah, I got it on Gamefly last week. 
Holy shit, you've beat it twice in a week? Yeah. Wow. It, it's not a very long game. Yeah. It's Still. nine levels. I think if you like go slow and explore everything, I think maybe each level is an hour and a half long. But, that's, that's probably where it should be for a game like this. Yeah. It's quick. The art style is pretty interesting looking. The way everything looks, it looks painted. Hmm. It's not cell shaded, just the way that they have the models look. It, it looks like you're looking at a painting uh, at certain characters. That. You can deal with that. Yep. So I went the, the stealthy route. Um, that's how I would play. Yeah. It it controls very well. Like moving from place to place is very smooth. The powers are really fun. There was a lot of powers that based around absolutely murdering people, which I didn't get to pick because I decided not to go that route. Yeah, I went with the pansy choking them out and dragging their body somewhere else. I like that you replaced pansy with insane. <laughs> That's what I would do though. It's it's just more fun. Grabbing a dude and pulling him into a dark alley while it's, the AI tries to figure out what's going on. I love that. Then you can du ditch his unconscious body in a dumpster and let that be that. Yeah, that's good. That's my kind of fun. Yeah. Do you know about the game at all? Have you... Oh, wait, you picked um, it up, right? No. No? No. I... It just didn't seem like something I have to play. Yeah, it's it's a rental, most definitely. I wouldn't own it. Yeah. So... I don't know, if you if you have two nights in your board, pick it up and beat it. Yeah, I'll probably buy it when it's cheap on the computer at some yeah. point. But uh, I, I imagine that looking beautiful, like absolutely gorgeous on the PC. Um, I don't know. Like the screens are look like they looked at they're not that different from the console because really? the, the what you're saying with like the painted look, it didn't seem like it was that different. Huh. I, I don't know. I could be dead wrong. Who fucking knows? Yeah the the story. Like, the whole motivation thing's kind of lame. Yeah, it seems like that would piss you off, because it's, it's pretty <laughs> obvious what's coming, right? It It is... Fina it is oh, it was painfully obvious what was happening. So, you're this bodyguard, you're the Lord, Lord Bodyguard, the bodyguard of the Empress, and you go out on this mission, and you come back, within five minutes of you stepping foot on the island, you're already framed for murder. Hmm. And it's like, oh... Clearly, the only one who could have murdered her was this dude that was standing here for thirty seconds. Okay. Well, now guess you're in I'll for run six and months. hide. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. But the the big twists are really stupid and very obvious. Mm. And it's got a really stupid morality system that's very binary. <clears throat> so it's the kick a puppy or save a puppy type thing. And I oh. hate that. So how did it affect the ending? You played through twice. Uh, I went the the good ending both times. Oh. Because the only way you can get the evil ending is by ruthlessly murdering everybody you see. Yeah. Well, that means I'll probably get the, the evil ending. Yeah. I'll be sneaky, but I'm still killing everyone. Yeah. So you go around saving folk or conspiring to kill them. And then you get betrayed. Of course you do. Yes, you do. Of course you do. But the the pow the way the powers work, it's very, very, very similar to Bioshock. Hmm. So you you get these little upgrade things, and you upgrade them into your points, or you get these little knickknacks that slightly alter your abilities. So it's very similar to the tonics and. Christ, what the hell is that other thing that you'd get in Bioshock? Um, the stuff in the red bottles or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. The really Atom? That's cool. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so it's very similar to that. Yeah. They, It seems they kind of took a lot from Bioshock, even from the font to the way items are highlighted when they're mission items. Hmm. So, so that was weird. Well... It's easier to sell, you know? It is. Did you like Bioshock? I did like Bioshock. I like Bioshock a lot. Then you should buy this game, because it's like Bioshock. <laughs> yeah. 
Like is so the the main character's silent though, right? Absolutely I've heard a couple, silent. Yeah, I've heard a couple of people complain about that to where it, it just didn't seem to fit. It just seemed out of place. Where yeah. they're trying to have this kind of solid story, but your main character doesn't say anything. You can select text options, but no, he doesn't say anything. Yeah, that's that's no good. Oh well. It is definitely a fun game to just kind of go around and explore. There's a a variety of ways to complete any given task. So the the first playthrough took me forever. The second playthrough, I think I beat it in five hours just because I'm like, oh, I know through experience I that I can completely circumvent this entire area if I do this, 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 and this. I see. Or you can just run and gun it and fuck everything. Yeah, which maybe sounds fun, but I will I know that I'll be all sneaky. And then just reload saves because I didn't do it properly. <laughs> uh, the quick reload bandit. Yeah. That's how I play Splinter Cell. I'll spend ten minutes just sitting around a corner. Then I'll fuck up and then have to spend that ten minutes again. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. It was definitely fun. I mean, I played it and beat it twice, so there's that. Mm-hmm. That like actually it, says a lot about it, the fact that you played through twice yeah. for no real reason because you didn't play the evil side, so you had to have been enjoying yourself a fair amount. Yeah. And I was killing time be- between uh, now and Halo. Oh, that's right. I always forget you're a Halo person. Yep. So are you excited to see somebody else... You know, taking the reins. Yeah, I mean, there's not much to take. It's well, a... I, I always thought the main campaigns were pretty blah, just average at best. So I'm hoping they notch it up. Hey, there was a lot of incoming enemy dropships. Yeah, a shit ton of dropships. <laughs> I watched the, the. Have you watched the live action little short? I Halo. wasn't going to because I thought it was retarded, but then I kept hearing things that it was actually good. It was kind of neat seeing And the then movies. I watched it and I'm like, oh, this actually isn't that bad. It's actually yeah. pretty good. Putting a little bit of a face on uh, Master Chief ish. Master Chef. Yeah. I don't know. I know I'm going to end up playing it. It looks kind of neat. Yeah. He was 14 when that took place. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. That's novel knowledge, isn't it? Uh, Yes, but that's also wiki knowledge, which is where I took it from. Oh, Christ. <laughs> So he got new suits as he aged? Yes. Are you trying to say in a lot of ways he is Ender? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Is that what they're driving at? That's what it seems like they're driving at. The child savior bred to save us all. That's actually pretty clever. Yep. Oh, man. Battle school. Mm-hmm. Actually, the Spartan 2 program. Yep. Bungie's a bunch of hacks. Well, they weren't. <laughs> I thought Reach was kind of a hacky game. Reach? Oh, I'm thinking of... uh, What's that weird ODST? one? ODST? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Reach wasn't horrible, but I never played Halo 2. Or really Halo 1 story, so it just none of it made sense when I yeah. played 3. I don't know. There's bad aliens, now they're good aliens because there's worse aliens. Is that about right? Yeah, actually, that's exactly it. Yep. <laughs> you just summed up the Halo series. Mm-hmm. So and this now one, there's, there's old some sort aliens of... that are bad aliens. Yeah, there's ancient evils from the depths of space is that they're going for. Well, they were like the bodyguards of the old aliens that we keep stealing technology from. Hmm. So now they're pissed off. Do we know what the old aliens were stealing technology from? What they no, are? No, we, we never met. They're, they just called them the, uh... Pro... Protheans? No, no, no. I know, but cool. Forerunners. Forerunners. Um, Halo 5 confirmed. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I'll probably play it. I didn't send my Gamefly game back, so it's not going to happen this week. But I assume once uh, Modern Warfare comes out, they're quantity of available copies will increase i bet you it will yeah which i'm more interested in the new halo compared to that game 
So am I, because I think Modern Warfare is for slack-jawed idiots. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I've played all of the campaigns, but... It's you, know, like you, a... didn't, you never touched the multiplayer, right? Um, I was in the very first beta before it came out. Where I was like, wow, this is some game-changing stuff. And then when the first game came out and you saw how quickly millions of people got much better than me at it, and I stopped playing it. <laughs> well, people, I mean, like, you look at, like, Paul and his brother. I mean, good God, they're insane at that game. Fuck, I can't believe I only got 28 kills that round. I know. I, I spent all that time crouched in a corner picking people off as they went past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a game for me. Halo's at least slightly entertaining. Although I don't, I, I, I don't like bullet shield games. Or bullet, bullet shield? Bullet sponge games because of oh, the okay. stupid Halo shields and nonsense and yeah and sci-fi oh god it's too sci-fi oh my god you're becoming josh no it's just (laughs) yeah not 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 for me and the stupid way the little aliens talk it's always annoyed me but it's cute and endearing it's not cute nine oh well yeah i'll play it at some point you'll probably go balls out for it next week i imagine yep that's pretty much i'm gonna be doing all next week you're gonna buy it straight up Wow. Yep. How's Nancy feel about that? She's fine with it. Hmm. Well, that's good. Anything else on the docket? That is it. Mm. How about you? much more boring because I've just been playing uh, old games old games I'll lead off with I watched uh, the new Total Recall last night how was it um was it awful it's tough for me to say that about any movie with Kate Beckinsale in it (laughs) so I'm gonna put that out there okay if Kate Beckinsale was someone else would have been awful it's yeah it's awful okay it it's really As a sci-fi fan, I love watching movies like that because all of the set pieces in the world, everything's futuristic and these crazy scenes of future cities and vehicles and really space age buildings that they're inside and all of that stuff. Like, I love all, yeah, the tech. I love all of that stuff. I'll watch almost anything with that. Like Prometheus, I watched that. That, I'll say, is fucking terrible. But this, when you remove Mars, you then have to come up with a way to make the plot make sense, and they didn't. I could never really figure out what was happening. Why would there be a colony on the other side of the planet? It's fucking Earth. <laughs> There's that many more people there now. And they take an elevator through the Earth to go and work on the other side. Like, that's what he does. What? He rides an elevator through the core of the planet to work in a robot factory, and it's just like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Wouldn't that take, like... 13 hours? They go really fast, Kyle, and in the middle of it, there's a gravity switch. Yep. I bet you uh, that's important to the plot. Um, only for a very stupid scene with guns you see coming a mile away, but there's no mutants, there's no aliens. There's no Quato? Well, he's there, but no, no gut, no belly, no belly alien. Oh, that's terrible. mutant, I guess, I should say. Yeah. But the redeeming Save factor, the though, is the guy that plays Dirty. him is, uh, you know, Shaun of the Dead? Yes. His dad that plays, like, all of the vampires in so many movies. Yeah. That, yeah, he's him. So that's okay. But his part lasts just about as long as it did in the first movie, except without all the coolness. Oh, that's very disappointing. I'm kind of glad I didn't go see it. <sighs> yeah, the whole thing's about just, yeah, it's it's not good. So they shouldn't have remade it, is what you're saying. No, God, no. It's not good. 
No, it's really cool to watch. So I'd say at least watch it once because they do whoever like did all the special effects and you know world design and all of that stuff. They it's did pretty, a good job. It, yeah, they, it's awesome. Like the car chase scene, like just everything that you see in the future, all of the tech and that that kind of failing civilization in the future, like it's fabulous. But that's really outside of Kate, the the only other thing it's got going for it. <laughs> Did you see Prometheus? I watched that last month. No, I I wanted to. There's a lot of movies that I've wanted to go see that I just haven't been able to see. So Prometheus is on there. Total Recall was on there. Um, Looper's on there. Yeah. See what was that? No, I have Twilight. friends that uh, acquire movies that I then also acquire. Okay. So I get a lot of these, but here in my town, like with the theaters, you get on this like email club list. So every Wednesday and Thursday, as movies are going out of the theater, you can go see them for five bucks. So oh, that's pretty <coughs> neat. Yeah. I used I, to do that in a theater in Connecticut, except it was, it was recent movies, but then that theater went out of business. <laughs> yeah. This is just like, this is the last week they're having it here. We'll try and get a few, you know, a little bit of people to go and spend money on concessions. So, bah. Prometheus, I think I can tell you, you're going to like Total Recall more. Yep. Huh. I, yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. Yeah, I, I don't hear any middle, like, there's no, no reviews in the middle. It's either people like it or they despise it. Yeah, people that like it are dumb. <laughs> it's about that simple. It's not good. It was complete and utter letdown. Being on the ship and uh, what's his name, Ridley Scott. I mean, he, again, built a nice kind of, the ship was really cool, but it's, you'll, you'll hate it. I can guarantee you you're going to hate it. It's terrible. We'll just leave it at that. Just when you inevitably see it, I'll, I'll expect an email. You were right. My God, you were right. Yeah. My God. Yeah. I got back into Skyrim, though, because I don't really have a reason. I just decided to fire it up one day. And... You got that itch, and you haven't put it down since? Yeah, I got that itch, and it, I haven't played it in so long. It felt kind of fresh again, so I went and threw in a bunch of mods that make things kind of awesome. and Cheating? Well, yeah, I have and the cheating. The game. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I only break it when it's stuff I don't want to deal with. So, like, I'm done with the dragons. It was It was fun for a while, but fucking A. They're just... There wouldn't be that many dragons in that small little area. Let's be honest about it. Like, what would they even eat? You know? It's Cattle. Stupid. People. You see a lot of cows in Skyrim? Because I don't. I see some in the farms. Yeah. So, there you go. But I have a spell that just one hits everything in the vicinity. So, I'm done dealing with those bastards. What's the mod called? Um, Like, Moonstrike or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what it... Oh, no, it's called uh, Stormbreaker. Oh, damn. Yeah. I thought, it'd be I... Something, I thought it'd be like a movie reference or something like uh, Saul and Akira, like the satellite-based laser. Well, the I have another one that like you fire out basically uh, Lord Sidious lightning out of your hands, you know, and he screams, unlimited power. Looks just like that. With really? all these lightning bolts. And the book to uh, learn the spell gets delivered to the Archmage. Uh, quarters and it was called the dark lord <laughs> yeah that's pretty awesome but it doesn't do that much damage so that's not a game breaker it's just kind of cool lightning effects that do about the same damage as everything else but i only keep the the break just when i'm tired of playing the parts they want me to i don't feel like dealing with this bandit camp yeah. wave your just dis like a dismissive wave of your hand and it just blows up Oh yeah, every everything dies. I mean, I, <laughs> I play all sneaky like with my bow and arrow and still play normal, but there's a couple points where I'm like, ah, fuck this, and I just wipe them out. But it's fun playing with mods, and you know, I kind of dressed up all of the aesthetics and plants and things like that. Yeah. So it looks better. There's a better sun. There's a proper Milky Way in the in the night sky, stuff like that. It's neat. There's one that uh, it doesn't. You don't really notice it in the daylight, but uh, at night things are like properly dark. 
So like it's kind of you can't see a lot when you're walking around the forest at night. Oh, so instead of just having a blue tint, it's actually dark. It's actually dark. So like when you go into the village, if you look on like my Steam account, I posted a couple pictures, and like you're in one of the villages, and like the lanterns they have outside the businesses. So like when you look forward, there's just pods of those lights because it's dark, and you're walking down a dark alley. So it's kind of frustrating at times because you can't see worth the shit, but. It adds a certain level of immersion that I kind of like. It's okay. Neat. I got a kick out of that. But then there's a lot of stupid ones, like, you know, the the old one where spiders now look like Spider-Man from the comics. <laughs> and it's awesome. Did you, <laughs> did you get the uh, Macho Man Randy Savage Dragons mod? I didn't yet. Or the My Little Pony Dragons mod? That's the one I want. <laughs> I think that one would be great. Well, I haven't looked for them. I should actually do that. That would be kind of neat. But I put uh, I put in two more Lord of the Rings ones where one, you find uh, a dead Frodo Baggins and you take the one ring. <laughs> and when you put that on, you kind of go invisible. And That's then, pretty uh, awesome. Yeah, that one's pretty neat. And I installed a uh, a Hobbit home. So you basically have, you know, something in Bag End. And when you go in there, you find Sting. And Sting was more than double than Gandalf's sword, so it's pretty awesome. What? Yeah, I think the damn like Gandalf was like thirty or thirty-two, and this thing's like sixty-nine damage. I think that's because you've been using daggers more than swords. No, this is a proper sword as well. <coughs> oh, okay. That's yeah. Odd. Yeah, I haven't used a dagger once in the game. I know yeah, you you're missing that. out on some awesome throat slitting uh, animations. Yeah, I know. But I burn fools. I burn them with fire and then I chop them. But yeah, I don't know. The game's still fun. The game's, well, like, you, well, obviously, you yeah. know, between <laughs> you and your uh, spouse, you've probably played, what, 400 hours? Uh, Actually, probably, yeah. Yeah. Nancy hasn't even beaten the game proper yet. Yeah, that's what I'm working on now. And then I, I think after this, I'm going to go hunt down all of those, uh, the masks. Oh, the dragon priests? Yeah, I've got, I think, the one to unlock where the, all of them are at, and then I've got two other ones, I think. I think that's my next goal after this. Oh, there's a mask that tells you where the other masks are? No, it open. you know, you have to have that wooden one to open up, to go back in time to see which ones you're missing or whatever that was. I don't remember. Oh, I've only, I have three or four right now so you didn't go to like the the fortress up in the snow where they're all kept no yeah see like when you get them you're supposed to put them on these statues and i think once you get them all you you get something awesome i don't know but i've got the primo guide you know i bought that when it launched but i also (laughs) finally just downloaded the uh the pdf version yeah which is neat i don't know Fuck you, Josh. It's a good game. I don't care what you say. <laughs> and your stupid dick houses right now. It's like a fucking Skyrim. It's neat. It's still fun. Um, other than that, I don't. I, the other day, I was just in the mood to play just a shooter where I could just shoot things while I watched a movie. And so I you fired wanted Fear. <laughs> yeah, Fear Three. Well, I'd had it forever. I bought it for like five bucks, and I was just like, it's been staring at me for so long, and I just said, screw it, and. It looks really good. The gun plays really well. You know, it's got kind of a fun slow down time mechanic. I have no idea what the hell's going on. <laughs> like, maybe if I'd played the first two games, I would have some idea, but the kind of consensus seems to be no, not really. Yeah, I played the first game, God, years ago. Yeah. I don't know. It. There's a bunch of some sort of basically supernatural zombies slash mutants or something. Yeah. It's just a game where you walk around killing everything. And that's kind of what I was looking for. I just wanted to play a shooter that didn't really involve much else. And I think I've played it for about six or seven hours now. Christ. Although probably only like four and a half or five. I think I went upstairs to eat one day and left it running. So. <laughs> There's an extra there's hour a, uh, on there. There's a game that you should pick up that's pretty much just like an old, old 90s shooter. And that is? Uh, it's the one where you're 
dead and you're fighting with God and you're shooting demons. Shit, what is that called? Neil Gaiman's adaptation of <laughs> Halo? No. Ah, I can't remember it now. Painkiller, that's it. Oh, yeah, I always hear people. I think Josh has been playing that. He's a fan of that series, I think. Yeah, I mean, that is that is the epitome of... I am just I just want to dick around and shoot things for an hour or two. Hmm. That That's the game you want. Interesting. I think it's super cheap on Steam, too. Hmm. I'll ask Josh which one he recommends, because isn't there a few of them? Uh, I've only played the first one. Oh. Well, we'll see. What do you think about HBO buying the rights to American Gods and turning that into a series? I think Wait, what? Yeah, HBO bought that. That's turn... awesome. Yeah, the, I, it's one of the that things... That is fantastic. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to pay for HBO. A Game of Thrones couldn't do it. Nothing else has been able to do it. But I think American Gods... Because the book was like mediocre, but the world he built was awesome. Yeah. So knowing them, they'll do all kinds of cool shit with it, and it can just go on for a while because it can. Yeah. Oh my God. That's that's gonna that's gonna be awesome. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it won't be out for probably, and I bet it doesn't make year next year. Two. But yeah, they're working on it. I just want to see the internet god. He's going to be great. <laughs> it, except if it's the guy from Lost, the big guy from Lost. I'm it can't out. be. It's got to be someone young. Yeah, he's fairly young though, isn't he? No, he's like thirty. Cool. That means it's not going to be him. It's going to be like, it's going to be probably some fat, greasy meme kid in a year or two. We'll see. It's going to be like the equivalent of the Star Wars kid. Yeah, I mean, to those of you who don't know, the book, like, gods exist here as people. And as they become less relevant, they lose power and kind of just become old. And there's a whole new slew of new gods which are like the internet and cell phone credit cards television and it's the battle between the new and old gods you have all of these old norse gods you have south american things native americans like it's just hindu yeah though the eastern european one what's the old the old man i couldn't remember i couldn't tell you his name but um the one that was going to hit him with the hammer he yeah was my, he, he might have been my favorite character and I bet they have to have him in there, and he'll be hilarious. Do you know who's going to play that? That stereotypical Russian guy. The guy who played the Russian in Snatch. I can't think of it off the top of my head now. He was the hobo in Batman Begins that Christian Bale gives his jacket to. Oh, uh, yep, 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 yep. That's yep. going to be him. And that was uh, Chernabog. There you go. Yeah, I think that show, people are going to go nuts for that, because it's going to be good. God, bah. you just got me really excited. Yeah, if you look it up, hopefully it hasn't been canceled, because it's not like I've been paying attention to it, but I remember reading about the time I was going through that book that it had happened. Oh. Yeah, that's going to be good. Be real good. It is going to be real good. Bah. Oh, well. Do we want to talk about books for an hour to piss Josh off? <laughs> uh, I really haven't been reading anything. The last thing I read was uh, The Wise Man's Fear. Hmm. I'm going through uh, on audiobook Cloud Atlas right now. I've turned the corner with it a little bit. Turn the corner? I didn't really like it, and it slowly grew some momentum to where oh, I okay. think I do now. Like, the story is split up into six different characters and six different stories and six different time frames. Uh, well, I know. And exactly. So, right, the first one's, like, back in the 17 or 1800s on, like, a slave ship. I don't remember. I don't. It doesn't matter because I didn't like that story. The next one's, like, in the early aughts and it's whatever. And the next one is like, eh, I'm just going to keep going a little bit. <laughs> And then the fourth one was like a mystery in the 70s, and it was really kind of good. And I'm interested because it was about like corporate espionage and stuff, and it was kind of neat. And then they just sort of started 
building on that a little bit. There's one that's in the future and there's basically indentured servants that are like engineered human-esque. They're basically clones, but they don't really have any rights and people don't think they have souls. And the, the last one's in like a post-apocalyptic dystopian future on Hawaii. And they all kind of intermingle and it's, I've turned the corner a little bit on it. I, I kind of like it. Like the movie trailers made it seem like there was a lot more pull of souls travel across time and they've always known each other and all that shit. And it hasn't been played up quite as heavily thus far in the book. I'm about halfway done. So maybe it amps up, but I, I, I don't hate it. Huh. Yeah. You just have to get through the earlier ones that aren't that great. Actually, the first two are really the weakest, but there's a, there's a relationship between a man and a woman at the forefront of all of them, but it's by no means a love story, so okay. it's not bad. It's good. Yeah. It's good for audiobook because each one's read by a different person. Yeah, and so like the guy in the future one is like a tribal person of some sort with a kind of a thick accent because he's you know he's got like the Hawaiian. There is no more civilization and. The the clone is an Asian woman, so she has a very you know simple way of speaking because it, it's kind of toned down English. It, it's worked really well as an audiobook. Huh. Yeah, I like my Audible account. It's neat. Eh, I gave it up. Although really? I might. I well, I had I had one for like a year, and I didn't do anything with it. So I had all these credits. So I'm like, oh, I'll just buy this, 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 uh, this, this, and this, and then I just deactivated my account. No, it's not for everyone. My work goes in kind of cycles where everyone, like this last week, I've had time to burn through things. Next week I will, and then the week after I won't. But it's, I'd rather listen to that a lot of times than music, you know? Yeah, that and that's what I did. It was when I wanted to tune things out. Yep, yep. Ah. We'll save you, Josh, and not discuss... <laughs> the King Killer Chronicles, but although you should read them because they're really good, if you're in any way uh, a fantasy fan and you like things that are kind of like magic based in some sort of real world sense, aka sciency type explanation, I'd say you should probably read them and be on board. The third book's not out yet, and after getting to this part, I think we can agree there's going to be six. It's and kind I'm of I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm, I've made my peace with it now. I was kind of pissy at the end of the second when I realized there was no way they're getting to what they're going to get through. And now I'm going to have to wait literally years <laughs> for the rest of the fucking story. But it's kind of neat being along for a release schedule. Yeah. Like the Harry Potter books I didn't read until they were done. You know, it's just Lord of the Rings, obviously. And so it's kind of neat to, to be, be on board. A, a new Robert Jordan. Yeah, type it's, thing. yeah. So it's it's that part of it's kind of neat, and the stories are pretty solid. They're not for everyone, obviously, but like you said before, I started. I the way he tells the story, I, I really like it. Yeah, the way he writes it, it, it's very simple and it's very descriptive. Yeah, there aren't long, drawn out descriptions of flags like Martin, which I'm I just or can't food. read those. Man, I cannot do those books. I'm sorry. I'll watch the show. I did don't you give up? Like... Did, did you read the first book or did you just give up? I read the first book. I started the second one and I'm just, I can't do it. I don't think he's, he has a great story there, but he's a shitty storyteller. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just, and in some ways I'm like that where I'm trying to tell a story and I don't get to the fucking point, except he does it for hundreds of pages. Ugh. Sorry. No, that's I fine. I know you're a fan. I just, I can't do I, it. I enjoy I, the books, but they are a pain in the ass to read. Yeah. Ugh. Nothing happens for the longest time, and there's too the, many fucking characters. The fifth, you know, you're glad, be glad you, you opted out when you did, because the fifth book is 800 pages of nothing, and then 50 pages of everything happens all at once. Fuck that. Should have had an editor. Should have been three books. Yep. You're, you're you're grinding on that, but you know I'm right. I would like an abridged version. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say that. If they were each 400 pages, I probably could have suffered through it. Because there wouldn't be all the suffering. Yeah. 
but it just they get bigger and bigger as it goes on. Yeah. With the the fifth book being split into two. Yeah. Well, the fourth the fourth book was split into two, so it became the fourth and the fifth book. Yeah. Thankfully, HBO exists. I haven't watched that at all. Is that good? Yeah, I thoroughly like the first season. That's all I've seen. I haven't watched the second one yet. I'm actually going to pay for HBO here. I think around Thanksgiving, because then I can have access to HBO Go, and I can go through all of those shows I haven't watched. So, All right. But the first season I acquired, and I can <laughs> I can speak to its quality. It's quite good. I mean, it's, okay. I'm amazed that they spent the money they did. You... The, in the in the first season, it's extremely close to the first book. Like, remarkable how they stayed at it. So, okay, you probably won't hate it. It's it's not like what that cunt Peter Jackson has done to the Lord of the Rings. I don't care. the 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 saga is in three movies, one movie per book. A short story gets three fucking movies. Die in a fire. That's I understand the movie th- or the movie company doing that, but I don't care. Inexcusable. Maybe he's being super accurate to the book. You want to know how I w- you know how I win this argument? You, they yeah. cut off the real ending to the books. That could have been a fourth movie, and I wouldn't be as upset. But they cut off the actual ending, the whole point to the entire story, and now they're turning the Hobbit into three fucking movies. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have. I have a counter to that. Okay. So maybe there was such a huge backlash that they cut off the end of the trilogy that they're doing a completely faithful adaptation. No, actually, no, they're not. They can't because they have, you know... The, they have uh, Legolas Saruman. in there and... God damn it. Yeah. Saruman. you got to remember how that panned out, too. Yep. <sighs> can't do it. Nope. And I think they said they're pulling in all this shit from, like, tertiary books that... I mean, I've made it through the Silmarillion, so... You I, did? Yeah. <laughs> I got, I think, two chapters. It's like, fuck this. That, my friend, <laughs> was a unabridged road trip to Montana. Yep. How did you not fall asleep at the wheel? I left in the morning. <laughs> There's some good stories in there, though. There's a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of just mundane, boring terribleness, but I don't know. I still like his creation of the yeah, universe. Yeah, I, I read the, the creation thing and the start of the war, but then I just stopped after that. Yeah, and to be fair, most of it's bled out of my memory at this point. This is a decade ago, and it's it's not that great. All in all, I'm still pissy about the whole thing, the fact that they're splitting. Like, it should just be a movie. Them trying to cash in for three, it just annoys me. You know, I, I could understand two. Yeah, I could get two. But three? How? How? You could honestly read the book faster than watching the movies. Oh, yeah, I could I could take down that book in two hours. Exactly. Exactly. But it, this in no way changes if I go to New Zealand next year. It's a pretty high point of interest to go and see Hobbiton. <laughs> I'm not that big of an asshole. Oh, I, w- I want to walk around there, Kyle. Chipoko, bring me to the Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We're staying with some uh, some buddy of my friends, so we'll see. Don't know how that's all going to pan out just yet. We'll see. Okay. Uh. All this right. is what you get, Josh. Yeah. Long, Second. boring stuff about books. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. Yeah. All right, shall we kill this thing? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I suppose you can utter your memorized section. Yep. Wait, Josh usually says something before me. Um, Bruin? That's a bad kitty! <laughs> All right. <laughs> why, don't, uh, uh, why don't you tell them how they can get a hold of us, Kyle? Ah, there, that's what he says. That's it. Oh, Got it. I hate you guys. <laughs> get throw that in too. <laughs> uh, you can follow us on Twitter. You can follow myself at KR Dumont, Bill at Billy Bill Black, or the absent Josh at Nacero, and the podcast at Critical Strike. You can leave us a voicemail, which no one ever does, at 909 C Strike or 909 278 7453. Or you can shoot us an email at cstrikepodcast at gmail.com. 
Yep. And as always, hit Platform Nation for a slurry of decent podcasts. Double KO 41 just came out. Oh, did it? I believe so. Other than that, I haven't been paying the most attention. I think the fanboys actually released one last week, which was also interesting. Man, people are releasing stuff left and right. I know. And we're just sitting here masturbating. Oh, I love that meme. <laughs> I don't even know why. <laughs> I think the best part is it's his picture in the background. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it makes no sense. Yeah. Uh... All right. Well, everyone, have fun. Maybe Josh will be back. Maybe not. Maybe this just gets turned into an auditory version of a female book club. <laughs> I, w I would not be opposed to that. Nine. Later all. Good night. I'm recording. <laughs> I don't want it that easy on this son of a bitch. You know what he's doing right now? Sitting around thinking about ham sandwiches. Yeah, not doing trick or treating. <laughs> yeah, he, he said that he... <laughs> you know damn well he's not going downstairs to help kids get free candy. Or he's doing, he's like a paintball gun. He's just like perched outside his room, just picking <laughs> kids off to come to the door. Or, no, he'd just be the creepy shadowed figure in the window. <laughs> Why are you in my home? You better get out of here, kid. The lights on in the background, and you just see his silhouette just <laughs> looming over the window. No. Maybe he would hand out candy, but it would all be prefaced by hockey questions. <laughs> <laughs> Who won the 1976 Stanley Cup? He's got his cat surrounding him, Bruins just like... He trained him to walk backwards just to scare the kids. <laughs> Mister, your oh, cat is weird. <laughs> what cat? <laughs> I only see your soul. <laughs> <laughs>